Story time about how my girlfriend is addicted to lip fillers, so now she looks ugly and I want to break up with her, but I don't know how. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I said I mean on Instagram. My girlfriend and I have been together for two years. During that time, she's been obsessed with having bigger and bigger lips. When we first met, her lips weren't that thin, but she started watching the Kardashians and pretty much wanted to look like all the models she followed on Instagram. She asked me what I thought about her getting lip filler, and I told her she could do whatever she wants, as long as it didn't change her face. She asked her whole family, but her sisters didn't want her to get the lip filler. They had a feeling that she would get addicted to it, so they told her not to. I thought they were just overreacting, but I was wrong. Last year, she went on a work trip to New York, and while she was there, she secretly got lip filler without telling me or her entire family. She sent me a picture of her new lips, and they actually looked pretty good. It wasn't too exaggerated, they just looked a little bit more plump. But after a few days, she decided to go back and get more lip filler. She said they didn't look big enough and that she just wanted a little bit more. I asked her to wait and not get the second injection, but she ended up doing it anyway. After her second injection, I asked her to send me pictures, but she wouldn't. She said she wanted to surprise me in person. I went to pick her up at the airport, and her lips looked really big. She told me that the swelling would go down and that they would look a little bit more normal. Up until this point, I thought she looked really good. They were plump, and it was actually really nice to kiss her. A few months later, she brought up the topic again. She told me she needed to even them out on one side, so she found another clinic to go to. They injected her with a lot more than she was expecting, so her lips looked really big. When she turned to the side, she looked like a duck. I started not wanting to kiss her and she noticed. I felt really bad for not wanting to kiss her, but every time I did, I could just feel the filler. It felt fake on my lips. After a few months, she mentioned the lip filler again. I begged her not to get any more and she said she wouldn't. Around Christmas time, I had a holiday party at my office. When my coworkers and my boss saw her, they were stunned. They asked me if that was the same girl that they had met before. I was embarrassed and made up an excuse to go home. Part two is up. Part 2 of how my girlfriend is addicted to lip filler, now she looks ugly and I want to break up with her, but I don't know how. Disclaimer, this is not my story time, it's sending me on Instagram. After my coworkers and boss noticed how ugly she looked, I was so embarrassed I decided to leave the party. When we got to the car, I decided to be honest with her and I told her the truth. I told her I hated how big her lips were and how they changed her face and that I was no longer attracted to her. Her reaction surprised me. She acted like she didn't care and told me that she was going to continue doing whatever she wanted to her face. Part of me had to respect the fact that she was doing what she wanted, but it couldn't be healthy to have lips that big. I asked her if we could at least compromise and if she could not get any more filler. That's when she told me that she had already scheduled another lip appointment. She told me she just wanted to change the shape of her lips to make them look more natural. I thought this was maybe going to help her look like her natural self again, but boy was I wrong. We didn't speak for about a week, so the next time I saw her, her lips were doubled the size. It was literally impossible for me not to stare at them. I felt embarrassed being seen with her. Now don't get me wrong, I didn't want to just break up with her because I did love her. I knew I needed to do something. After I saw my girlfriend, I decided to go to her house. I spoke to her parents and her sisters and they all agreed with me that we needed to have an intervention. When she finally arrived home, we showed her pictures of her before and her after. We told her that we loved her face how it was before, and her dad basically begged her not to get any more lip filler. But she took it as a joke and told us that we were overreacting, that nothing was wrong with her face and that she loved the way she looked. And she told me I could use some lip filler myself. Part 3 is up three of how my girlfriend is addicted to lip filler and now she looks ugly and I want to break up with her but I don't know how. Disclaimer is an always story time and send me on Instagram. After her family and I begged her to stop, she told us we were all overreacting and that I should be the one to get lip filler because my lips were thin. I knew she was probably joking, but I was so angry that she wouldn't take us seriously. I stormed out of her house and didn't speak to her for two weeks. She called me every single day, but I wouldn't answer. I finally gave in because I really missed her and we saw each other. I tried to look past her Donald Duck lips, but I couldn't. It's like her whole face is being swallowed by two pillows. She swore to her family and I that she wouldn't get lip filler and anymore but now she says she wants to get cheek filler and I know that this is going to lead her to wanting more and more. When I kiss her, they feel so fake and rubbery. I even have nightmares about her new face. A few months ago, I decided to break up with her. But when I talked to her, I just didn't have the heart to do it. I feel like she's going to convince me to stay with her. So I've basically been avoiding her for the past months. Anytime she wants to hang out, I just make excuses. Her sister called me and told me that my girlfriend thinks I'm cheating on her. But I told her I was no longer attracted to her with her big ass lips. Her sister told me that she understood but that I needed to break up with her face to face. I've written a letter basically saying that I love her but I can no longer see her the same, but I can't bring myself to giving it to her, much less saying it to her face. I'm hoping you guys can help me out and give me some advice. She wants us to go on a couple's trip together, but I'm afraid I'm just going to stare at her lips all day. I told her I couldn't go on the trip because of work, but that's not true. I feel like maybe starting to act like a bad boyfriend is going to make her leave me, which will be easier on me. But who knows how long that will take. I've always been such a loyal boyfriend, but I can't take this anymore. I signed up to Bumble and I've been talking to other girls. I'm tempted to go on dates, but I can't bring myself to doing it. Not until I break up with her. But maybe the easier option will be to make her believe that I am cheating on her so that she can break up with me. I feel like such an asshole for saying this, but am I the asshole? Should I stay with her no matter what? Or should I leave her? What should I do? 
Seven years ago, I, 35, adopted my niece, nine, for my sister, 26. My parents have health issues and could not take her in, so I took the responsibility. I love my niece and I'll never blame her for my sister's mistakes, but unfortunately, it uprooted my life. It caused a significant sidetrack in my career. I've even had to turn down better job offers because they wouldn't allow me to stay close enough to home. My parents love my niece but could not take on the responsibility of caring for her, so I don't want to separate them. I had never planned to have children. I even had a boyfriend before I took in my niece, but he also didn't want to have children, and we made the decision to part when I took her in. We have never hid from my niece who her biological mother is, and even though the first few years of her life were hard, three years ago my sister started being in our lives again. She told me that she wishes for me to keep raising my niece because I have a better job and can afford it. My sister only has her GED and can hardly afford to keep herself afloat. She usually lives with her temporary boyfriend so she doesn't have to worry about paying for her own place. My sister acts like an aunt to her daughter, not like a mother, and my niece still loves her mother greatly. This past holiday, we were at my parents to open presents and my sister gave my niece a present to open. It was a shirt that said, I'm going to be a big sister on it. We weren't sure what this meant, but my sister informed us that she was pregnant and that she wouldn't be able to keep it and she was once again expecting me to take in the baby. My niece was so excited at the news and my parents were happy to hear that they were getting another grandchild, but I was just floored. I burst into tears immediately and I just walked out. My sister came in to talk to me and I told her that I wouldn't be able to take in the baby. I don't want a new baby. I love my niece, but raising her is enough responsibility already. My sister told me that I would be wrong not to take in my niece's brother. She didn't mean to get pregnant. Apparently, she was on birth control and she doesn't know who the father is. My parents couldn't take on a baby either, so it's up to me. My sister told me that I should feel blessed, but I don't. When I told my parents and niece, they were all very upset, my niece especially. I don't know what to do, but I can't take in another baby. I know it's my niece's sibling and my sister's child, but it would completely ruin my life. Am I the asshole for refusing to take in my sister's baby after I took in her daughter? My freshman year of college, I was walking down a hallway towards one of my classes and a friend who I hadn't spoken to in a few weeks walked confidently towards me and he said, Kate, how is this relationship between us supposed to work out if you never talk to me? And I said, relationship? What relationship? We barely speak. And he said, exactly. Let's get together this weekend and fix that. And I was like okay and, and we got together and we hung out and it was great he's married to someone else now it's fine but I a few years later I was at a college party and I tried to use his line um I just blurted it out I didn't think it through you should think these things through in case they go badly because it went badly and a hallway I realized is a great place to do it because you can easily run away also everybody around you is passing you because they have classes to get to nobody's focused on what's happening I was at a party I was sitting on a couch my hot friend Liam walks in Liam and I had flirted a little bit but we hadn't spoken in a couple of weeks and I said very loudly Liam how is this relationship between us supposed to work out if you never talk to me? And he said the same thing I said. He said, relationship, what well, relationship? We barely speak. And at this moment, I realized everyone in the room was staring at me. Everybody was focused on me and what I was going to say next. And I got nervous and I choked and I went... I know that's stupid. I was just being stupid. That was stupid. I'm stupid. That was stupid, stupid. And then my brain was like, that was embarrassing. You need to flee the scene now. But I couldn't just run away because we were a billion kids packed into this tiny little stupid college price apartment. And so I had to swim upstream through all these people. Like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm leaving. No, I'm not leaving because of the Liam thing. I'm leaving because I got invited to another party. Okay. I just got the text now. It says, has nothing to do with me making a pass at Liam and it not going well. Am I wrong for telling my new coworker it was misleading of him to be wearing a wedding band when he's a widower? Oh, yeah, I'm already saying you're the asshole and I haven't read this yet. Hi, a couple of weeks ago we had a new employee hired at the company. He's a good guy and a widower named James, 36, and to my knowledge his late wife passed away 8 months ago. I felt like how she just calls him widower, like that's, leave him alone. Me, 32 female, and the other coworkers got along well with him. However, I noticed that he is still wearing his wedding band on his finger. It kind of confused me a bit and I couldn't help but bring it up to him while on lunch break. We talked and I pointed out that he was being very misleading by still wearing his wedding band when he's a widower. Why does she keep saying that and why is it any of your business? He looked quite bothered by what I said, but I tried to explain that I think that he was giving people the wrong idea or impression about his relationship status since he's technically single and on his own right now. Don't want to sound cruel, but I'm speaking from technical angle. James said that he didn't give it much thought, meaning he doesn't care what people think, and that even if he wasn't wearing his wedding band and some woman approached him, he'd still turn them down since he's obviously not interested. Why does this woman care so much about this dude? For some reason, things got awkward and everyone stopped eating and just stared at James and me. I told him I don't know, but that really, really felt generally misleading of him as in making people think he is in a relationship, married when he is not, regardless of how he felt about being in a relationship. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with this woman? Like, why do you care if you, like, 
He's going to work to work. He's not going there to find a wife. Ah, yuck. Ew. He got upset, called me rude, and said that I repeatedly disrespected his marriage and his late wife's memory with what I said and took his stuff and walked away. No shit. Like, you're rude as fuck. My coworker said, regardless of who was right or wrong, there's, you're wrong, 100%. You don't, who the fuck are you? There was no reason for me to bring this up in the first place and cause a scene and make James upset. Now he's not speaking to me and the others who have sided with me. So am I the asshole? Did I overstep or did he overreact? 